It was just a few weeks ago that Fakir Mohammed reportedly said the Taliban was in peace talks with Pakistan's government. But another senior Taliban leader almost immediately contradicted his statement, saying that wasn't the case at all. The disagreement seemed to confirm what the Pakistani military has been saying, that the Pakistani Taliban has splintered and no longer has a unified chain of command. We sent a crew to Afghanistan to see what we could find out. After days of travel, a cameraman was able to track down Fakir Muhammad in the Hindu Kush mountains near the border with Pakistan for our exclusive interview. Muhammad says that he and his men need Islamabad to first make clear its intentions before deciding their next move. At the moment, we have adopted a wait-and-see policy. We'll formulate our policies once Pakistan's government's policies are made clear to us. But he says he's not optimistic that the peace talks with the Pakistanis will succeed if the past is anything to go by. The Pakistan government is trying to convince the U.S. on the negotiations with the Pakistani Taliban because the Pakistan government has taken money from the U.S. They wage war against us when they get money, but talk peace when they have problems with the Americans. Pakistan's military force Fakir Mohammed out of the country's Bajawar tribal area in 2009. Since then, he and his fighters have sought refuge on the Afghan side of the border. From here, they can still launch attacks on the Pakistani forces. But the real question is whether Fakir Mohammed still enjoys the support of other Pakistani Taliban leaders. Kamal Haider, Al Jazeera.